an out of bid system, and he, 2.2 million people would die in the US, and 500 million people would die in the UK. Another scientist came out and challenged him. Where did you get these figures from? Obviously, he pulled them out of his ass because the system he uses was uh, 30, 40 years out of date. So he came back the day after that and he said um, 20,000 people would die in the UK and two thirds of them would die of underlying health issues that year anyway. Well, that's a big drop, Neil, a massive drop. And then the day after that, he came out and said 6,000 people would die. Now, I don't know whether you remember, but um, after he basically locked the world down, he actually sneaked out one night to his, uh, his mistress's house and got caught through the deadly virus, Charlie. Uh, you couldn't make it up, could you? And we pointed out, and uh, I'll, I'll also tag it on here as well. We pointed out that the government website, the yeah. CDC, the World Health Organization, all of them published on March the 11th that this COVID-19 coronavirus was no worse than the common cold. They published this, not Charlie and Lee telling you, this was published on the official websites. Right. Which actually makes it not even as bad as man flu. And what the, the, the chaos they're confusing is unbelievable, isn't it, Lee? Well, What's I can't you? believe it, Charlie. I mean, uh, everyone's scared of a cold. Oh, I mean, yeah. come on, we've had colds for how long now? We go to the gym, we get flus, viruses every year. Pay yeah, attention to the signs. No, and also, you need to, people need to get out of this woke mentality that when you have a cold, <laughs> the one thing you and I don't do is we don't go and see old people when we have a cold for fear of giving it to them. And you don't go around to other people's house with the flu. Um, and in the old days, we get, even if we did go around with a slight cold, we certainly wouldn't have put masks on, but it, you, it's sure. fine to wake up and use common sense. You wouldn't believe how many people actually, when they got a cold, actually wouldn't take antibiotics. And people who take antibiotics, most of the time, when I've had a look at their actual diets, it's all down to the nutrition problem. Yeah. I mean, most of them who, who need the antibiotics, they don't work anyway, they have to keep getting them. Yeah. Keep in mind, I was just trying to teach everybody, like, not teach, but tell, like, how to keep your uh, immune system better by eating vegetables and fruit, you know what I mean? Like, you want to get your ginger, your garlic, you need those type of things, your onions. A lot of us want to say, no, nah, we don't eat onions. No, nah, you need onion. You need all these things in you. This is what keeps you healthy, you know? So, it's just an example, you know, what this, this is what it's going to come down to. You're going to get a normal cold, and they're going to blame it on that virus of course but check this i want y'all to start paying attention to stuff too like you got to know who working for who look at that right there right behind them you see that's trump's team this video might get me in jail of course or i don't give a shit but check it out that's his people. And over there where they are in England, it's more out there in the open than what it is over here. Over here, we're way more manipulated. Over in, um, matter of fact, in, in Los Angeles, they're actually protesting about the uh, trafficking and stuff. So it's, it, it's kind of close, but check this. You see, that's his homeboys. When you see people like this, that's the people that's trying to help to show what's really going on. I ain't saying none of it is good from either either side because I ain't a person that believe in government the way it is. So, but as you can see, it's always right there in plain sight. And it is what it is.